Now this video is in reply to a question that I was asked by somebody in my membership recently. Um, they wanted to know if you can add a table from Google Sheets into slides and the answer is yes you can and here's how to do it. So firstly you go into your Google Sheets where the table is and you just want to highlight that whole table so just press Control, Shift, End and Down and then End and Right and that will select the whole table for me and then just do Control and C to copy. Go into the slide wherever you want the table to be inserted. So we're just going to go to this blank slide here and just press Control V to paste. So this gives you two options. So we're going to look at this first one, which is to paste it as a linked table. So make sure link to spreadsheet is highlighted here and click on paste. So this basically means that any changes that you make to the table in Google Sheets will automatically be, be reflected in this table in this slide because the tables are linked together. So as you can see, the table itself doesn't quite fit the slide. So we're just going to grab the grab handle here in the bottom right corner and just drag it. So it's just resizing it basically. And we can also just click the table and drag it to be in a better position within the slide itself. So whenever you click into the table, you can see there's a little option menu bar here in the top right corner that appears above the table. So if you click on these three dots, it opens up the options. So you've got open source, which opens up the actual table in Google Sheets. Next, you've got unlink, which basically does what it says and removes the link to the Google Sheets table. So any changes made to the table in Sheets will no longer be updated here on the slide. Next, you've got change range. So if you click on there, you've got the option of using a custom range here. So you just put in the custom range of data if you want to change it. Then you've got the named ranges. So these are all the names of the tables that are currently in that spreadsheet. So you can see that this one is called content tracker one and the rest are all the other tables within the spreadsheet. You've also got the option of opening up the spreadsheet itself here in the top right corner. I'm um, just going to cancel that click back into the three dots and the next one is match spreadsheet data and formatting which you can see is grayed out at the moment so as soon as you change any of the formatting in this table in the slide so for example if we change the font if we just highlight everything in here and we go and change the font to a different font now when we click into the three dots you can see that match spreadsheet data and formatting is actually available now and if we click on there it will change the formatting back to match the actual spreadsheet which you can see it's just done move back into the three dots and you can see that the final option is linked objects so if we click on there it opens up a list of all the um, linked items that are currently in this presentation this opens up on the right hand side here. I'm just going to hide myself. So you can see it's listed the same spreadsheet here twice. And if we click on the first one, you can see that's in this first slide. And the second one is the one that we've just linked now. So if you have a long list of linked items within this presentation, you can click on any of these and it will automatically take you to the slide where that linked object is placed. So if I come out of there to close it, you just click on the cross in the top right corner of this window. So another way of bringing up that same pane on the right hand side is by clicking on tools and linked objects and it brings up the same options here. So that's the menu within the table but what happens when you actually update the table in Google Sheets? Well if we go back into our sheets and if we just make a few changes to this here um, and we'll just put in new and published so we've made a couple of changes to the, the first, two, first two rows of this table. Now if we go back into the slide, click on the table, and you'll see that it's now telling us to update on the option bar above the table here. And all you do is simply click on update. But before we do that, I just want to show you what it looks like if you click on tools and linked objects. And I'm going to hide myself again. So you can see there's now an update button next to whichever linked object has been changed. You'll also see there's an update all button down at the bottom, which is really handy if you've got lots of linked objects that need updating. So I'm just going to click on update all. And after that's done, you can see that the first two lines here are changed to match the Google spreadsheet. So I'm going to close 
this down here. So once you click on update, you'll see that the linked table options across the top here have been replaced by this icon above the table. You simply click on there again if you want to see the options again. And if you don't want to see the options, you click on this button here to minimize, which takes you back to that icon. Now it's worth pointing out that you can still make changes to the table on the slide if you need to. So if you want to add more data, you can, but they won't be shown in the table in Sheets. And the next time you update the table, the changes will overwrite anything you've added to the table in slide. So that's how to use linked tables. So if I just insert a new slide here, so I click on Control and M, and if we go back into our table in Sheets, and I'm just gonna copy this table again, go to our blank slide and Control V, and this time I'm gonna paste it as unlinked. So this will just paste in the current version of the table and that's it. So paste unlinked and click paste. Now again, you can see it's not quite fit in the slide, so we can just click and drag the drag handles and move it to a better position. So any changes made to the table in Google Sheets will not be updated here in this particular slide because it's unlinked. So you can go in and make any changes to the table here, but you're not gonna see the table options above it. You're not gonna see the, um, the linked table options because it's unlinked. And if you click on Tools and Linked Objects, the pane over on the right-hand side, click on each one of these and it will show you which tables are linked. And you can see that slide number three here is not listed because it's not linked. And that's it. So it's worth mentioning as well that everything I've shown you in this video is transferable to Google Docs. So if you want to paste in a linked or unlinked table from Sheets into Docs, then you'd do exactly the same as what I've just shown you. So I've hoped, I hope you found that helpful and if you want to join my membership then click on the join button underneath this video and you'll see me telling you everything you get as a member. In the meantime, if you're new to using Google Sheets and you're not quite sure what they're all about, then you need to watch my full step-by-step -step beginner guide next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.